As a grandson, I'm delighted to take a few minutes to, uh, to remember my grandma, Effie Bolvin, and to think about all the fun times I had as a kid, growing up at her house, uh, playing her upstairs, uh, having her teach us how to play dominoes or rook or racco at her kitchen table. Uh, a lot of fond memories of working side by side with my grandma in the greenhouses, an incredibly hardworking lady, uh, fixing flats, setting up for transplanters. I also remember her taking used labels that were all dirty uh, home to her house and washing them out in buckets and pans and uh, reusing them. That's kind of attitude that she had. And uh, a lot of fond memories of her coming out to visit uh, me uh, as I've lived here in California the last 17 years with my wife Heidi and uh, three children. And one of the visits we went to San Francisco with Mary Beth and my mom and uh, sat for several hours just listening to Grandma's story of growing up and growing and living through the Depression some of the highs and lows of her life, and uh, just never forget those precious few moments uh, listening to, uh, to her story. But what I remember probably most is when she came out here uh, and cared for uh, my wife uh, during a time that she was on bed rest with our son Nathan. And there Grandma was, uh, an older lady already at that point, hard to get around, but she was cleaning the house and helping with laundry and just caring for my wife. And it's just one of the many uh, memories I have of my grandma, who left a, a very wonderful impression on me as a kid growing up and as an adult. Um, a grandma that left a wonderful legacy and will be remembered fondly um, for years to come. So grandma, uh, we remember you and honor you and thank you for all of the good times and the way that you gave your life and um, loved so many people uh, so well. Uh, here's to you grandma.